whimsical outdoor decor ideas. Here's how I've tried to add some whimsy and character to our Southern Florida outdoor space with lighting, plants, seating, even a little fairy garden. We do not have a super manicured lawn and things change all the time after the brutal rainy season here. Let's just say things are pretty natural. I do have a whole tour of the property in another video if you'd like to see that as well, but let's get started. A few years ago, we built a rustic fire pit out in the small woods behind our house. It's a simple build and I've got instructions via blog post or video if you're interested in that. And I found this willow wood patio set off Marketplace and I love the natural feel they add. It's also lovely to have a destination to meander to in the evening. But before we had this space, we very much enjoyed our little $50 round steel pit from Home Depot. A few years ago, Martell and I built the kids a little playhouse out of pellets right beside the fire pit. We didn't want to spend a lot, so we used things we already had and found some pellets. Plus, we are not very good builders, so it's a very simple setup. Unfortunately, after the last hurricane, it looks nothing like this anymore. But they enjoyed it with each other and friends at the perfect ages. What's better than getting kids outside and getting a little dirty to use their imaginations? The previous homeowner brilliantly planted these four palm trees the correct distance apart for hammocks. You could even have four if you wanted to. I have been waiting six years for them to be big enough and it's finally the year. Hammocks are so inviting, aren't they? And the best part is the palm trees provide the shade. Let's talk a little bit about lighting. Here on the back lanai, I've added twinkle lights behind faux ivy screens for a soft, cozy glow. It's amazing what a string of lights will do to any space. Put these twinkle light spheres out in the front yard a few years ago and they add a nice holiday ambiance. And there are lights that go all the way across this paved space we have out front and it's great for parties, late night dinners, basketball, or fireworks. And here's a view from the playhouse to the outdoor fire pit at night. We used solar lights, which are affordable and super easy to use. The large ones really have held up great, even in the brutal Florida heat. Let's talk about water features. The sound can drown out traffic noises when they work. That is the downside of fountains. We have to replace the pump in this one. But there are so many affordable and unique water features available now, and it adds an old world ambiance to the yard. Whether it's a raised bed or sprawling greenhouse, growing your own produce or flowers is good for the soul. This is my father-in-law's garden. We live on the same property. He's growing things like mangoes, papaya, avocado, greens. There's something magical about walking through rows of trees and plants. My daughter has her own little fairy garden. One Christmas she got all these little houses and fairies, so she set them up in the garden that my husband planted. We are fortunate enough to have quite a bit of mature landscaping like this large tree in front. There are also a couple super tall palm trees and a few spots of cascading bougainvillea that bring shade and drama to the yard. Before the spheres with lights were hanging from the big tree, we had a swing. It's a fun interactive element. I think when we take the lights down, we need another swing, maybe this summer. Of course you need flowers in your outdoor space, whether it's potted plants on the porch or growing wild, flowers add playful bursts of color. Brightly colored hibiscus blossoms are probably my favorite. I love this jasmine arbor we had for a few years. It looks so magical in this spot by the gate. A space to dine outside always feels special. The last homeowner left us this wonderful teak table that we're so grateful for. Picnic tables or cute bistro sets on the balcony or patio are a couple affordable options as well. We need to replace this door to the garage, but in the meantime, I decided to paint it a fun color. If you have something that's a bit of an eyesore, maybe try painting it. It might just give it a whole new personality. The kids want their toys and our pool is very well used, so I just try to find the prettier options for floats like this giant swan, and we've been playing a lot of family volleyball, so I managed to find this one that is all white. My pretty little bicycle spends more time being decoration than exercise equipment, but she sure looks adorable while she waits for adventure. And of course, wildlife and our sweet pets always add life and fun to a yard. I keep thinking about adding a bird feeder, but then I remember that the squirrels here are crazy. But that's an idea to add a view of wildlife to your outdoor space. I suppose we have enough as it is with the rabbits and the squirrels and the lizards. One year we even had a bear problem. So there's my idea list. Don't get me wrong. We have the soccer net and basketball hoop and chalk drawings strewn about, but that's what makes a house a home, right? What about you? What would you add to the list? Or what's your favorite outdoor spot at your home? 